Pac-12 conference, as we know it, appears ready to implode, leaving the future of Cal and Stanford athletics in limbo. This afternoon, the universities of Oregon and Washington were finalizing deals to join the Big Ten Conference. The University of Arizona is headed to the Big 12 Conference with Arizona State and Utah right behind them. Those departures, along with the prior defun defections of USC, UCLA, and Colorado, will likely be the death knell for the Pac-12 after 108 years in existence. In this kind of sports drama calls for the real deal with Larry Beal <laughs> for you to break it all down for us and give us a timeline. Larry, I also want to ask you about the impact on the athletes and the fans. Um, you've been busy uh, making I, notes here. I got a whole flow chart of who's going everywhere all over the place. It's, well, it's just nuts. And not only that, earlier today, I was like, T over text, I was like, Larry, what is going on? Can you break it down? And you did such a great job, bullet points of all the things that went wrong that led to this. So do you want to start with the timeline? We'll be here for an hour and a half. Okay, we have about <laughs> eight minutes. Can you do it in a, you did it in a text. So I think you can sum all it right, up. All right, let, okay. me, let me start here. And if I miss anything along the way, just. Uh, oh yeah, let me pull that text up. All right, so, all right, so it all started with Larry Scott, the previous commissioner who uh, was overpaid ridiculously and made a, a terrible television deal that relegated Pac-12 football to late night windows on ESPN and reduced exposure. In addition to that, uh, Larry's idea was let's make this vast uh, cable TV network, which sounded great, except nobody wanted to carry the network. And then when ESPN offered to go 50-50 or, you know, whatever, have these partners, uh, the Pac-12 said no because they were greedy and wanted to keep all the money and so they didn't have the partnership with the SPN and now they got nothing. Hmm. Uh, they still were trying on a TV deal, try, 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 and uh, they, they brought in a new commissioner, George Klievkoff, and for the second hire in a row, they brought in a guy who had little to no experience in college athletics. So he has no sources. And that's why he did not know and probably found out on Twitter when USC and UCLA shocked the world deciding we're out, we're going to the Big Ten. That created the next domino effect, which forced George to try to, to get another TV deal. Hmm. But the dollars, look at the, the environment we're looking at. ESPN is cutting a lot of jobs. A lot of companies are cutting. The, the zillions of dollars, they're not there right now. It's the worst possible timing for all of this. And the Pac-12, they are at fault. They did this to themselves, not realizing the consequences of the many bad decisions that they made. And now they have few decisions left because everybody else is going elsewhere. You're going to have Stanford. You're going to have Cal. You have Oregon State. You have Washington State. Pac-12 is now Pac-4. Okay? Wow. So, options. Maybe Cal and Stanford get invited to the Big Ten. This is still a big TV market, even though people don't watch college football here in vast numbers. Right. But it's still San Francisco, Bay Area. It's good for recruiting. That's probably the best case scenario. Mm -hmm. Go to the Big Ten. The other idea would be you drop down a level. You go Mountain West. You join the likes of Fresno State, San Jose State. The problem with that, reduced TV dollars means reduced money for all sports in your school. Well, that was going to be my question, right? What is the impact for athletes? Let's right. let's cover athletes, how this impacts these kids that sometimes will usually choose schools based on the athletics program, sure. right? Uh, competition, exposure, all of that. Um, so it's going to be tough for them, right? Well, it's going to be challenging for, for Cal and Stanford, let's say, to recruit some athletes because every, look, whatever you do, you want to appear on the biggest stage, right? Right. And so you don't want to go to a lesser conference. Now, the one thing that Cal and Stanford do have going for them, and we have to acknowledge this, is that they're incredible academic institutions. Right. So that will draw some people, but that's not going to pay for water polo. That is not going to pay for all the other, quote unquote, uh, Olympic sports, track and field. So because the money comes from where? The money, uh, the, almost all the money in successful college athletics programs comes from football and basketball. Mm. The Pac-12 was looking; they needed to hit thirty million dollars a year per team in these negotiations. They clearly could not come close. The Big Ten, those schools get fifty, sixty million and going up. 
So, or where, who do you want to who do you want to be a part of? You want to be a part of a of a league that's growing and thriving, or you want to be a part of a league that people are looking at as like a lesser version of a real strong group? So, what's going to happen then with fans? Well, <laughs> it's not like Cal and Stanford are drawing that many people to their football games, and, and, and that's on them as well, which is another whole conversation because they don't care. They don't care. Let's be what honest. What do you mean they don't care? They pretend to want to play college football and college basketball. They pretend. They're not real. They don't spend the money. They refuse to spend the money. They don't promote their sports. They don't try to get people into the stands. They are understaffed. Hmm. That you, that, I mean... Maybe maybe you've touched a nerve, okay? Uh, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I obviously did. Yeah, no, but, that, but let's just be real about it. They don't care that much. Fine, that's fine. They're a great academic institution at Cal. Right, Same that's not their focus. They right. want to produce doctors and lawyers and physicists and be really smart people. Um, they, sports is just not their focus, so that's fine. So maybe they belong elsewhere. I don't know, but I, it's a shame. 108 years, Karina. Come on. I know. How do you mess this up so badly? Well, let's listen to a soundbite that we have from uh, the Cal State coach, I believe. Something that certainly matters, but not something we have control over. And those are our two criteria for what we focus on. What matters? What do we have control over? And where, where those two things overlap, that's where we focus. You know, and I'm, I'm not uh, denying the significance. It's, it, it, it's significant in, in a major way. However, we don't have any control over that. Our job right now is to come out here and become the best football team we can possibly be. So that's what we're spending time on. Yeah, so... Look, one thing we should point out right now, everything's going to be fine this season. Like yeah. everybody's this playing Pac-12 until 2024. So Cal will play the normal schools. Then after that, imagine being Justin Wilcox. Oh. How are you recruiting? You're a star running back. What can he possibly tell you? What league are we playing in? I don't know. Oh. Who are we playing? I don't know. That's got to be what's so What's the tough NIL on. money? What kind of name, image, and likeness money can you give me? I don't know. Jeez. That's the, and the schools have released statements that we're exploring all our blah 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 blah. This is your exploration is why you're here right now because you're inactive and you got caught with your pants down and with two guys running your conference that should never have been running your conference. I mean, just to sum it all up, it sounds like it was bad hires, uh, greed, and bad timing. All of that. And bad decision making. Did I miss making. it? Bad decision, bad decision making. making. That, that might fall on the bad hires, I guess. Yeah, as you it's, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a quartet of disastrous moves that unfortunately is going to impact the athletes. And that's what I'm really, I love college football. I can't right. believe these guys have messed this up so badly. I, I, I wish this guy was running the conference because You'd be the Pac-12 would be alive. <laughs> but, I, you know, I'm, I'm getting so worked up here over this because I just. It's, <sighs> I can. See your frustration. I, 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 it shouldn't have happened. You know how much time I've spent with David Shaw at Stanford and at Cal for the 20 years with these guys. Mm -hmm. And come on. I mean, maybe if Stanford or Cal were better in football, unfortunately, they're both down right now, so it's easy to, for other leagues to discard them. Maybe at some point they get added to the Big Ten mm -hmm. or, or another conference. But right now, it's just a mess, and they did it to themselves. And money rules college athletics. It's the only thing that matters. Just get rid of the, the student in, in student athlete. They're pro players. That's it. Sorry. I, I'm, I apologize. We I just, will end it control. on that. I hope your finger's okay from uh, yeah, all this. No, you no, good? I just, yeah. yeah well. All right. Well, that's why we bring you on to give us your heated commentary. Yes, because people commentary. Love, love to see a maniac rage on the street. No, you, yeah. you had good thoughts. Okay. It, was, it was very yeah. good and all you right. broke it all down for us and told us right. why we should care and why it's important. Yeah. Okay, Larry, thank you. Yeah. Sorry. Till the next time. <laughs> so, sorry. Till the, the Til next... next time when I'll never be invited back. That's you 100% okay. <laughs> are going to be invited. We love that passion. Come on, oh, you're coming back. Man. Larry, thank you.